All right, let's go to some developing news now. An apartment fire leaving several families without a home today, and the people who live in that local community say they are outraged. Our Jonathan Goto visiting the aftermath of the fire at an apartment community in Leon Valley, and he tells us how neighbors were met with those very intense flames. Total chaos erupting at the Vista del Rey apartments in Leon Valley as flames consumed four apartment units. Smoke billowing from the complex seen from miles away. Me and my girlfriend, we were uh, on our way home and uh, we saw the smoke and we were like, that's really close to where we live. We were actually 11 minutes away on the highway coming back when we seen smoke and like uh, we seen it and the closer and closer we were getting, we were seeing that it was like darker and darker. Leon Valley firefighters battling the flames, but neighbors say it wasn't as easy for them to access the burning building as it should have been. All the gates are locked for the fire department, all three of them. Like, there's only two ways in and out. So, like, by the time they got here, like, it's already halfway on the building. This apartment building considered a total loss. Now you can see just how close one building is from another. Now the neighbors that I had a chance to speak with today said that everyone tried their best to put out the flames by even using their own fire extinguishers. So we had to find a water hose and there's no water pressure. And then the, we took all these fire extinguishers by six, seven, couldn't get it. So we the, like we just had to get everybody out. The fire quickly spreading to a total of 12 units. Witnesses say property management didn't allow the Red Cross on scene. That's just shocking. That's like saying the fire department can't be here. Or it's like, it's like the Red Cross is here to help people, especially on like tragic events like this. The fire causing devastation for those directly impacted, uncertainty for future tenants, and frustration for those who still live there. We were supposed to be moving in uh, the last building, 3906, before this all happened. And we was actually scheduled to move in two days from now. I, I don't really feel safe here. And honestly, I really feel like uh, signing a lease with this place was a huge mistake. We visited the Vista del Rey leasing office and called several times and are still waiting to hear from the property management. Reporting Jonathan Cotto, Keysat 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching Keysat.